since doing Google Ads, that's only been since 2017, 2018, specifically Google Ads. But yeah, nearly 10 years in, in business. Okay, so I click my fingers. Your reset starting again. It's 2013. What would you do differently? Great question. It'd be be very specific with who you want to target as a potential audience, and it'd be the same for the service as well. Because it depends if you've got a team behind you as well. At the time, it was me, Dale, Adam. They, I was very much from a design background, and they were both web developers. So it's really leveraging the the strengths of your team within that. So if it were me right now, uh, just starting by myself, I'd say my skill set is mainly in, or predominantly in landing page design. I like to think I'm pretty decent at it. So I would perhaps start only focusing on that one thing and doing it exceptionally well. So if it was just you and not Dale and the other chap, I forget his name, apologies, but he's gone now. So oh, he's gone now, doesn't matter. <laughs> no, don't worry about him. Uh, you would literally strip right back, even though you know you like the, you prefer PPC to SEO, you'd, you'd go even more granular and go, no, I'm going to go after companies and do landing pages. But, uh, yeah, and then potentially even going more focused with that based on what your suggestions were in the forge with picking a niche and mm. everyone's saying it, but it really, and it, it kind of has almost become cliche without with the number of people who say, oh, just target a niche and stuff. But the amount of uh, effort that goes into learning something new and the time involved to create a, a design for a potentially a whole new industry. I mean, some do cross over and it's, it's kind of fluid anyway, but yeah. trying to like relearn and reinvent the wheel for a brand new industry every time where if say for Google ads, you've got uh, let's say carpet cleaning campaign. We do a load of those. It's mm. really copy and paste. There's no difference in the keywords. Yeah. The structure's the same. Um, the negative keyword list you can upload again, it, and it's all built there, and everything's kind of making that one core niche stronger in what you do, whether that's for if you do it focused on SEO or PPC, landing pages. I think that would be the main kind of takeaway is just to focus on a niche. And, and if it is a service, maybe just doing the one service because as soon as you yeah. start to offer loads of other services, unless you have a really great process anyway for them, I find like your overall uh, efficiency becomes diluted. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. I agree with that. Well, I do agree with that. Uh, so you do landing pages, but then surely you'd upsell the Google ads. With the skills I have now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so the yeah. line might be in 2020. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I know a lot of people teach the, the, the niche thing. It works, but uh, the problem is that not a lot of people apply it. And hopefully I've given enough content to show more facets around it, not, not just to say, oh, pick a niche. Because I know some training literally shows you how to pick a niche or find a niche, but that stops there. Yeah. And it's like, well, yeah, there's more to it than that. How do we ta how do we find them, target them? What you know, what's the funnel? Exactly. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it doesn't have to be that complicated.